Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Try to develop good qualities in mind while you do this. In other words, by remembering the, the breath, you're developing mindfulness. And being alert to the breath, you're developing alertness. Otherwise, you just slip right off. You're here for a minute and then you're off someplace else. You're trying to develop something of lasting value here in the mind. And these qualities that you develop are good not only when you're sitting here focusing on the breath, but whatever task you may have. You always need mindfulness, you always need alertness in order to make sure you can remember what the right way to do that task is and being alert to what you're doing to make sure you're doing it well. And if you see there are any ways that you can improve, well, you learn that lesson, then you remember that and apply it the next time around. This is how things advance in the world, by paying attention to what you're doing. It's all too often we have an idea that this is going to be right and just stick with it and stick with it and stick with it without really looking at the consequences. And as a result, we don't learn and things don't improve at all. It was because the Buddha saw that now, the way he was doing things was not leading to happiness. There was some stress inherent in what he was doing. That's why he started looking at what he was doing and said, what can I change? He experimented with different ways. Fortunately, he did some of the experiments that we don't have to. We have the basic principles like the precepts that you always try to stick to, basic principles around developing concentration and how to develop insight. But the particulars are things that we have to work with on our own. Because you have to look for yourself. It's learning how to see where you're causing stress. Be sensitive to that stress and figure out how we, figure out how you can avoid that. That's how you grow as a person. This is how every skill is developed, and particularly the skills with regard to the mind. Because the way you engage with the world is determined by what you remember as what's good. But you want to test it. Sometimes you may have learned the wrong things, or maybe you learned the right things, but you remember them wrong or you understood them wrong. So you have to, have to test, test, test things over and over again. There's a story they tell of a university where they, they were taught brain surgery. And the question was, all the kids applying to become brain surgeons all had straight-A averages, so you couldn't tell anything from their grades. And the question is, what kind of person would have a straight-A average and also be a good brain surgeon? And they found the people who had failed the program, or had done horribly, and they found the two things, is that they never really paid attention to what they were doing. And if they made a mistake, they always blamed it on the result, or if there was something went wrong, they blamed it on conditions beyond their control. And they begin to realize, so these are the kind of people you want to weed out. So when they would interview people for the, for the position, for the opportunity to study there, they had two questions for them. One was, can you tell us about a mistake you made? And if the applicant said, can't remember a mistake, okay, those were out mistake you made recently. And the second one, how would you do it differently? And if they hadn't thought about how they might do it differently, those people were out too. You want to be able to recognize your mistakes and then figure out ways so you don't have to repeat those mistakes. That's how you develop in all areas of life, and particularly here in the meditation as you develop with this issue of how you can live this life without suffering, without causing any unnecessary suffering to others as well. So try to develop these qualities of alertness and mindfulness because they help you grow in all areas of life. That your life as a human being is not just on automatic pilot, but you're actually developing even as you grow older and as you. There's always opportunity to learn. No matter how old you may be, you can still learn if you're willing to be mindful and if you're willing to be alert and if you're willing to develop these qualities as much as you can. <laughs>